Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for June 6th through 12th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, very warm hello, welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for each and every one of you. We'll get right into your reading and see what we've got coming out for you guys in the week ahead. Ooh, this is exciting. So we have, first of all, we have a cycle card here with new beginnings. So you might just have the spark of inspiration. You might have some new idea. Uh, you might have, uh, develop a different way of doing something. And uh, it's just something fresh and it's something new. The new beginnings card can represent uh, something that you are breathing life into. Um, this can be just a new sense of self, a new you. Um, perhaps some of you are welcoming in new family members as well. I mean, we do have a bouncing baby on that card. Okay. So there may be some discussions or perhaps, uh, something actually coming to fruition with something new. Okay. But when we have the baby on the new beginnings card, it's kind of very similar to the Empress energy. This is a great time to start new things, to meet new people, to get outdoors, uh, to start new creative projects. Okay. Or even just to make some improvements there. So whether we're talking new beginnings in regards to people, ideas, inspiration, trains of thoughts, uh, whatever, that is it's all fresh and it's all new and it is very exciting we've got the sacred temple coming out here as well this is a spirit energy the sacred temple is the seat of your soul this is the source of your personal power your inspiration your creativity and of course yourself your spirit and this is always available for you so this is really spirit telling you that this may be a great week for you to engage in some meditation this is where you find peace you find balance and harmony and things but again where you may get a little bit of inspiration the Sacred Temple is also about feeling at peace, feeling that calm. Watch for signs, sing, symbols, and synchronicities as well, because this is actually a gateway to some information. So there may be some information that comes in via your spiritual self, your spiritual side there. So uh, meditation may be very be very beneficial for you. Um, even just connecting with nature, especially with the New Beginnings card, right? There's a portal there that's open for you. There's some door opening for you there. Uh, so pay attention to all of those signs, symbols, and synchronicities, repeating numbers, um, feathers, uh, insects where they don't belong, uh, animals crossing your path in like a very weird, uh, weird spot, something out of place. Okay. Not something that is, uh, in the ordinary, but if you are seeing repeating numbers, make sure you look them up. Um, cause they're quite often reminders, little helpful hints and they're, uh, they're the universe giving you some guidance. Okay. So look up the spiritual meaning of those numbers when you do see them. Let's see what else we've got. The Knight of Cups. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's see the seven of cups. Okay. Perhaps some choices that you need to make. And we also have the moon coming out there as well. So the moon is Pisces energy. So you might be dealing with a Pisces person, but this could also just be a very creative week for you. We've got the sun at the bottom of the deck, more creativity. The sun brings about a sense of optimism, a uh, sense of creativity. Things blossom and grow without the sun. Nothing can grow. We don't have the energy to do things. So you could just have a lot of energy, uh, a lot of firepower to get things done. You're not taking anything laying down and you're getting things accomplished in the week ahead. The sun is also, um, you know, about uh, family and children. Hello, new beginnings and the knight of cups. I don't know, new beginnings something there. So you may have some uh, really good news story um, in the week ahead. Okay. So maybe you're just getting some really good news, something where it's a cause for celebration. The sun does bring about abundance and success, but it does also bring about a lot of creativity, optimism, positive thinking. Whenever we have the sun making an appearance in our reading, um, it shines a very positive light on everything. So that sun being at the bottom of the deck is providing motivation and influence. Okay. Just something in the background there, um, that kind of provides a little bit of a gentler inf influence influence, but an incredibly positive one, no less. The Knight of Cups can certainly represent you, okay, um, moving forward, taking the lead, taking charge with this knight. The knights are the doers of the, the doers of the group in a very big way. So there might be something you might not necessarily have all the answers, okay? You might not necessarily even know what you're doing, okay? But the Knight of Cups shows that you are moving forward. You are taking some action and not doing anything sitting down. You could also just have a really positive outlook to the beginning of the week there as well with that Knight of Cups. 
okay? Start your Monday with a smile on your face, perhaps, okay? Um, but this can also represent you um, opening up to your spiritual self, your spiritual side as well. And this could be a delivery of some good news of some sort. So whether you're feeling uh, connected with your higher self, whether you're feeling very spiritual, um, or whether you're feeling very creative, uh, you know, this is very much that go-getter energy. But I think there's also something exciting here for you. The Knight of Cups quite often does bring in offers of love, of romance, of connection, of friendship, of collaboration, all of these, you know, a very positive connection with a person around you. So perhaps you are spending time with somebody that you care about, or you may be meeting new people as well, but you may have, uh, still, still have an offer or an invitation or some really good news um, on the horizon for you. Not a good, not a bad way to start your Monday. It's a super positive energy to start your Monday with. But the Seven of Cups is here. You may have some choices to make this week with that. You could also be uh, kind of fantasizing about something. I mean, let's face it, the Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Moon all coming out together can represent an energy of fantasy of using your imagination so perhaps there's something that you're dreaming about and now you're trying to figure out how to turn your visions your dreams into reality it's also very spiritual energy especially with that moon as well known as uh you know being really connected with your uh, psychic abilities with your spiritual self so perhaps this is a week for you where you're um, where your senses, all of them, okay, are very much heightened. Your third eye is activated, uh, your crown chakra, you name it. So maybe you are just getting some sort of divine inspiration somewhere in your week ahead. But the Seven of Cups can also represent, um, you know, again, a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of uh, with the moon, probably... Uh, maybe something that you've wished for, okay, or perhaps you do have something here that you're starting and you're just, you need to really use your imagination to get something done, or um, you are imagining how something may work out, especially if you meet a person. Sometimes we have a little spark. I mean, this isn't a reading geared to love or romance or anything, but let's face it, the Knight of Cups quite often does come in with that wonderful heartfelt offer. Okay, so you may meet someone new or you may have, you know, someone may give you a proposal of some kind and now you're imagining your future, okay? But you may have a decision to make with that Seven of Cups. We are sometimes faced with decisions and choices and the best way to make the choice because sometimes our fears crop up a little bit, the best way to make the choice that we need to make is to follow your heart, is to really engage with your feelings and to sometimes even face your fears, okay? Sometimes we get stuck in limbo a little bit with the Seven of Cups because we're afraid to make a decision or afraid to choose a, a course of events or a course of direction. And it's because we're just a little bit afraid of what if I do something wrong or what if I make the wrong choice, then what, okay? And the best advice with the Seven of Cups is to follow your heart. We can only ever make the right decisions, Um based on what we know today, right? We can predict or we can uh, imagine the future to a certain degree, but ultimately the, the live energy is here and now, and we can't see 20 years down the road or five years down the road, and sometimes we just need to jump into something and we just need to uh, take action. Okay, rather than getting rather than getting stuck, if it looks good, it feels right. And, you know, all of your other instincts are saying, yes, this is the right choice, then go for it. If something doesn't work out your way, you can always course correct later on down the road. Okay, and you know, but it's the fear that sometimes holds us back. Okay, so maybe some decisions that you need to make there as well. But the moon energy here shows that you are perhaps uh, feeling some feels this week. This may just be a very emotional week for you, Cancer, okay? But the moon card can uh, quite often does indicate our subconscious, okay, starting to come to the surface. So perhaps you, uh, perhaps you have some um, ideas or some feelings or your intuition is just trying to show you something. You can't maybe quite put your finger on on it right yet okay but you may be discovering some truths the uh sometimes we get some surprises when the moon comes out and is your uh, major arcana for your week so perhaps by the weekend uh you may surprise yourself or you may uh, knuckle down and face your fears okay but you may also um you know, you may also just be 
uh, following your dreams as well. Okay, so that moon is uh, usually quite a quite a positive energy. Okay, but maybe you might be actually doing some shadow work. Okay, but maybe by the weekend you have some time to do some meditation or engage with your higher self there also. Okay, but you may have some dreams, something that's coming to fruition. But pay attention to your dreams. Okay. Um, there just might be some information there for you. Your advice from Spirit, the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Ace of Swords can certainly indicate a new idea, uh, some new information, a new way of communicating, okay, or maybe some improvements. So when we have the Ace of Swords, this brings a little bit of luck into your reading. The Aces are always the start of something new, okay, or um, uh, a new way of doing things, okay, or improvements in some way. So you may have some very important conversation in the week ahead, and uh, Spirit's advice here is to just get some clarity. Okay, speak your truth, be honest. Um, get the you get some clarity coming in here where you need to. The moon can sometimes bring illusions uh, and doubts and fears to our situations. Okay, and again, something that may you might not be able to quite put your finger on it. So the Ace of Swords can kind of give you that um, give you that energy where you are discovering some sort of truth. Okay, you're actually getting the clarity. Right, the moon sometimes messages that come in aren't quite clear, but I think here you'll figure things out. You'll get that clarity. Um, but the Ace of Swords is an energy of victory and success. It is the Sword of Fate as well, okay? So there may be something here that you're meant to experience, okay? Or something that um, you have been feeling for a while and you're, you're getting a little bit of traction on it. You're just following all of your senses. You're following your path, okay? But the Ace of Swords is a focus on communication. And so make sure that you communicate, um, in a very positive way. It's a very positive communication with that. Um, and there may actually also be something here in regards to something that you've been manifesting into your world, something that you really want. And spirit saying it's here. Okay, it's here. So pay attention to all of those signs and keep an open mind as well. Okay, so certainly an energy of victory and success when we do get that uh, Ace of Swords, but there may also be a Eureka moment that comes in here for you because the sun brings about ultimate clarity as well. We've got the moon and the sun. And of course, the moon and the sun represents eclipses. So there may be something uh, that it involves uh, some eclipse energy here. We're still feeling the eclipse energy that happened in May. Okay, so changes, new beginnings, a little bit of a shakeup. Okay, but all in the positive, I think, here for you. All right. You may also need to initiate something there with that Ace of Swords, okay? You might need to start a conversation, okay? Or, uh, you know, take some sort of initiative. Blessings headed your way. Well, hello, okay, Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups, yes, could represent partnerships, togetherness, um, friendships, uh, family ships, relationships of all kinds. The Two of Cups uh, is an energy of balance and harmony, feeling good. This is blessings headed your way for the week ahead. Okay, so for some of you, yes, you may have some sort of new beginning that's here and this is blessing you and bringing you all sorts of happiness and wonderful positive energy. Um, for some of you, you're just getting things on track, okay? Perhaps if you have a partnership, of any kind, whether it's a friendship or a workplace partnership, maybe you've got some creative project at work you're doing, okay? This is an energy of people working together, okay? People being in harmony and balance and alignment with each other. Not that there's not necessarily any, uh, you know, not everything is always, you know, tickety-boo, right? But when we are in the Two of Cups energy, we work together to find compromises, to find answers and solutions, and it's like a level playing field for us in a very positive way. But yes, the Two of Cups can also represent you being in balance and harmony with your higher self as well. Your emotions are calm, you're at ease, and so if there's been anything that's kind of been niggling away at you, worrying about worrying you, um, I think you're going to get things, you're probably going to get some answers or that clarity uh, that maybe you need, okay, sort out something that's been bothering you, and I think you're going to get things back on track there with that Two of Cups. But yes, we can also look at that as 
true love, soul, um, soulmate energy, uh, partnerships of all wonderful, blessed kinds. Okay. So maybe there's just uh, maybe some love in the air for some of you in the week ahead. Okay. So it's a very, uh, a very wonderful energy for you guys. It's just kind of, and you know, June itself is a lot calmer energy than May. It's a welcome relief. We don't have major, major astrological clashes or anything like that. Mercury is out of retrograde. So maybe it's a little bit of a peaceful week for you and um, it's a little sigh of relief. Your overall outcome was well, just keeps getting better for you guys. Okay, we've got the 10 of coins. This is the 10 of pentacles energy. This is an energy of success and completion. So perhaps whatever you get started, you get done or you just have this overall sense of well-being and that you're on the right track. But the Ten of Coins is an energy of family, safety, security, long-term commitments, um, and just that uh, that wonderful, wonderful energy of I I reached where I wanted to be. Okay, so it's uh, certainly one. Um, perhaps you do have some family th situations that are uh, evolving. Um, around you, whether it's the welcoming the birth of a new baby, blending families together, falling in love, entering a higher level of commitment. Okay, you may just be spending some time with family. There may be some celebration or get together there as well. But the 10 of coins can just be your energy of feeling like you have gotten some things done. You're in a good place. And, um, you know, maybe you even feel that sense of accomplishment if you face some fears. Okay, so you've got both feet on the ground and you are excited about where you are and also excited about what is yet to come. So I don't know what's going on with you guys this week, Cancer. Okay, I mean, you do have, uh, you do have birthdays coming up, I guess, uh, at some point. Um, so maybe you've got some plans. Maybe you've got some birthday plans. Maybe those family get-togethers, right? The sun uh, card of family and connections, right? Uh, the ten of coins about your family too. So perhaps there is something here uh, to do with a family situation and it's in a very positive way. So if you are celebrating something, then congratulations to you, whatever that happens to be for you. It's not quite your birthday not quite your birthday but hey maybe you've got a milestone birthday coming up and um, you're just gonna do something different maybe you're setting some resolutions so let's get your last messages out here for you and see what we've got so there is the one the blessing of patience ah oh, very nice it's a very matching your very relatively calm energy here a blessing comes disguised as a setback or a delay. This card is confirmation that you are on the right path. With patience and perseverance, you will reach your goal. And all is accomplished in perfect time. Namaste. And your next card. Infinite blessing. Oh, yeah. Unlimited potential. Nice. Blessings flow to and from you, endlessly expanding in all directions, filling you with the healing light that guides you upon your blessed path. Rainbow light flows from your heart, creating infinite peace. Namaste. Beautiful energy. I'm leaving that there for you folks, okay? So I hope there was something here that did resonate with you in some way. If there was, please uh, don't forget to show my channel a little bit of love here. Hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And feel free to leave comments down below as well. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. And I will see you guys later. Bye.